Today's tutorial will be equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. We have two sample problems. Let's start with this problem here. The first thing we need to do is combine like terms or perform distributive property. 3 times 4n is 12n. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. That is equal to 7n plus 10. We will now move all the variables to one side of the equation and the constants to the other. Let's start by subtracting 7n on both sides of the equal sign. This gives us 5n minus 15 equals 10. Now we just have a two-step equation. We'll add 15 on both sides of the equal sign, leaving us with 5n equals 25. We have a one-step equation that we can divide both sides by 5, giving us a solution of n equals 5. Let's check our work in the original problem. 3 times the quantity of 4 times 5, which is 20, take away 5, needs to be equal to 7 times 5 plus 10. 20 minus 5 is 15, and 3 times 15 is 45. 7 times 5 is 50, 35, plus 10 is also 45. Since they are equal, our solution of n equals 5 is correct. Let's try another one. Let's begin this problem by subtracting 4n on both sides of the equal sign. This gives us negative 7n plus 5 equal to 40. We can then subtract 5 on both sides like a regular two-step equation and we're left with negative 7n equals 35. We will then, then divide both sides by negative 7, leaving us with a solution of n equals negative 5. Let's check our work. Negative 3 times negative 5 plus 5 needs to be equal to 4 times negative 5 plus 40. Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15 and 15 plus 5 equals 20. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 plus 40 is 20. Since our two solutions are equal to each other, our solution of n equals negative 5 is correct. That was the tutorial on equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign.